You're on. Hey, Tommy down here, Catalina. Rebecca is always behind the camera. Uh, I guess we're bringing back Fishmonger Friday because I kind of skipped a month or so. Don't forget, Restaurant Week's coming up. Over 200 restaurants participating in this week's, this year's. Uh, I had one line, Restaurant Week, and so go support our local restaurants. So this week, uh, I'm going to showcase a couple of pieces of fish. This is King Clip. I have his King Clip here and Alaskan Cod here. So you're probably wondering what we're doing with this and why we're showcasing this. You hear me all the time saying that there's no such thing. Hold on, I'm catching fire. My well-seasoned griddle. There's no such thing as cheap seafood. You'll pay with your health, you know, with all the chemicals and all that stuff coming in from far, far away lands. Alaskan cod and king clip. The king clip came in frozen from Baja. The Alaskan cod came in frozen as well. The reason why we're going to showcase this stuff is simply, this is a great piece of fish. Frozen, skin off, bloodline out. And look at this. This is a beautiful source of protein. And when I say there's no such thing as cheap seafood, you'll pay with your help. I have inexpensive seafood. The black, the uh, Alaskan cod, okay, is great. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're just going to leave that in there, and we're going to let it simmer up. More butter, okay, because uh, what's the saying? I would rather trust a cow than a scientist who made margarine or something like that. I don't know. King Clip. A member of the Cusk family. Look at this. This was a frozen piece of fish. I want you to look at the glistening meat on there. I want you to see the beautiful, it's not broken, it's not freezer burnt, okay? This is some really nice stuff as well. Beautiful, pink, fresh texture. It's a great piece of fish. I'm gonna throw this in here as well, okay? And again, the pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. We're going to get it going. Butter. I love butter, you know? All of a sudden, butter-flavored popcorn popped into my head. I don't get it. Uh, Friday, what am I doing tomorrow? I got Portuguese tuna salad made today. Made it this morning. Tomorrow, I'm doing a big, giant bowl of swordfish and ground fish chili. Those that have been following on my Facebook page, I came down last week and scarfed out on that stuff. We went through 10 gallons in a couple of hours. It's really good. We'll be doing that tomorrow. So I threw this in the butter to cook it off. Some of the things I've learned by watching my chef buddies who are real chefs, and like me, some hack with a pan, is the basting of the brown butter on the seafood. It was really cool. Use a big spoon, tilt it up, there you go. And, we'll squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. I got my glasses on. Ah. Uh-oh. Look at that brown butter. Oh, yeah. Wish we had a smell of vision going on here. Did you get the basic idea of what's going on? We got a little chopped garlic. I know you should use fresh, but right now, don't have any. This is what I got. I'm going to throw that in. Look at this. Just bubbling away in there. Beautiful stuff. So again, fish monger, fish monger, monger, fish monger Friday. Don't look at me like that, Rebecca. You make me nervous. 
Oops, there's one on the floor. King Clip. Frozen defrosted here in-house. Alaskan cod. Frozen defrosted here in-house. These are great sources of protein. The best part is they are inexpensive. It's not cheap, but it's inexpensive. All right, thanks for tuning in. Fishmonger Friday, Catalina. See you this Saturday. Free chili for everybody in the house. See you later.